Hey guys, Dwayne here from BVR Motorsports. Wanted to share with you our latest high-end bike build. It's what we call a TTR 150 Factory Edition. Um, this one was kind of an open checkbook, which is super fun for us at BVR because we can go crazy. We one-offed everything on this bike. We've done a lot of TTR 125s over the years, but uh, we wanted to take it to another level. And uh, we wanted to make it look like the big bike YZs. They, uh, they've completely changed everything the last couple of years, and there's a lot of Yamaha fans out there, so we wanted to, wanted to do kind of an updated version of what we've been doing over the years. And, and this is it. We literally made everything. There's no drawings that went with it. It's fun for us because it's just one off. We don't have to worry about fixtures or repeating anything, so we can go crazy on the details. We started out by making the perimeter frame, and we literally made the perimeter tubes on here basically out of sheets and weld them together and ground, hand uh, manual milled a lot of the pieces on it. Uh, the only thing we see and seed on the frame was the head tube just to get everything correct there. Uh, one off the aluminum gas tank and subframe. Uh, we even made the seat top come off like the big bike Yamaha so that uh, you can dump the gas in there and the gas is actually held from here back so it makes the center of gravity just a little bit better on it, makes it handle better. Um, we did the plastic on the bike too. We thought we were originally gonna cut down some big bike YZ plastic, but when you held it up, it's really about this big. So we ended up having to make molds to do it. And is what we did was uh, cut out aluminum and cardboard and set it on here, covered it in Bondo, shaped it as close as we could to what we thought super mini sized plastic would be. And uh, we got it, uh, got it close, and then we used a big shrink wrap machine and basically pulled the plastic over the top of that. And it took a few tries, but we got it, and uh, that, that was a big part of getting the look to it. Uh, we used a seat, a custom seat that we made to get it super flat like the modern bikes. A lot of the bikes that we base things off of were built in the 90s. You know, all the 85s were designed in the late 90s and uh, let's face it, they weren't going super fast back then. So we wanted to get a more modern geometry look and feel to it. So we stretched the frame out, shortened the swing arm, made a custom swing arm and air box, of course, to, to match it all up. And I think we got her handling like a modern super mini wood. I mean, it took a lot of tweak to get it. Other things that we did, we took a YZ85 clutch cover, cut it off, welded it, that way it's got a removable clutch cover to swap out the plates real quick on it if we want. Um, we did all the foot peg mounts are custom, brake pedal custom, just one-off stuff. We didn't have to worry about writing programs or anything. We just went crazy because we knew it was a, a one-shotter. Um, used CR85 forks and shock on it. We had Duvall revalve it about a thousand different times for us to get it to work for an adult and fast kid. We did DLC coatings and uh, Kashima coatings on the bottom there, just so the last and the oil doesn't burn out in them. We made custom triple clamps for them, uh, works connection levers and guards, all the standard stuff BBR always uses. The motor that we used is Yamaha's TTR125 motor that they've had for years, a great bone stock, but we of course pump them up. We did the BBR150 kit for it and uh, the BBR cam. Uh, this one was an electric start model, and originally we were going to take all that stuff off to make it lighter, but we realized we could take the Kickstarter shaft, all the gears, uh, shrink the wiring harness, everything to do with the electric start and uh, Kickstarter, get rid of the Kickstarter, and it ends up being lighter just as an electric start with one of the super lightweight batteries, and uh, it ended up being better that way. Custom wheels, Pro Wheel did us some... Uh, super uh, light hubs for it and then we did heavy duty spokes and nipples just to keep it alive custom pipe uh, yz80 fenders just to kind of get the look but uh, i think i think we met our goal we we're trying to build the world's craziest ttr 125 and uh, i think we got it we'll get carson over here to show you what it looks like on the track he'll make it look good for us